Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, sometimes hair, so if that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Moisturizers. If you're into your skincare and a friend tells you that they don't moisturize, it gets to you, you know? Because it's one of the most important steps, if not the most important step in the whole skincare routine. Cleanse, tone, moisturize, one of the very basics as well. Using the right moisturizer for you in your routine can help keep your skin balanced, so whether you're too dry or even too oily, you know, there really is a moisturizer for all skin types and all skin concerns. So when you hear people don't use one, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy to me. But saying that there are so, so many moisturizers out there and so many claim to do certain things, it can get very, very confusing. So today I hope to help you out a little bit and today I'm gonna introduce you guys to five of my favorite moisturizers that I've used throughout my whole life that can help you on your way towards clear skin. So let's start off with the very first one because I don't physically own it anymore, but that is Lush Cosmetics Vanishing Cream. Lush, strangely enough, because I don't use it that often anymore, is what really got me into skincare and what really helped my skin improve. They're often known for their kind of overbearing um, smells that come out of the shops, their overly glittery bath bombs. <laughs> I wish I didn't put glitter in everything, it annoys me. But their skincare is so, so good. As a spotty 14, 15 year old, I went into Lush and asked them to help me pick some skincare. And one of those products was their Vanishing Cream. Now this is basically a very lightweight moisturizer for oily to acne prone skin. And this seriously changed my skin forever and my outlook on skincare forever. Vanishing Cream, as the name suggests, is a cream that literally vanishes on your skin when you go to rub it in. As I said, it's very, very lightweight. This actually contains wick hazel which is very very good for oily and acne prone skin with its antibacterial properties and spot fighting properties is very very good on its own witch hazel can be a little bit drying that's why it works so well within a moisturizer it also contains jojoba oil and honey to help really give that bit of light moisture so nothing overbearing for oily skin lush moisturizers do tend to be on the pricier side but they do last a long time well until their sell-by date, that's another thing. Cause they're more towards the natural side of skincare. Um, they don't have synthetic preservatives in. So you do kind of have to use this up before it's sell-by date, but it is very, very good. Unfortunately, I developed a bit of a bad reaction to Witch Hazel, so I had to stop using it, but it was one of my all-time favorite moisturizers. Next up is the CosRx Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Mask. Bit of a mouthful, but very, very good. I've only been using this maybe for half a year, but, um, I love it, out of all the years I've been doing skincare. What I love about it is, it's a very good night cream as well as a day cream. So it does call itself an overnight mask, but unlike most night packs or night masks, it's actually very light in comparison. And its main purpose is to even out and brighten your skin tone. So if you have a lot of dark spots, your skin's just looking a little bit dull, it's a really, really good moisturizer to use day and night. It's infused with 68% rice extract, which is a lot of extracts to have in a moisturizer. And it sinks right into the skin, it also contains nice Cenamide, which we know um, is an ingredient I love. Obviously to help even out your skin tone and give your skin just a nice overall glow. I wouldn't say that this is for people who currently have spots or acne. This is more towards the stage where your skin's a bit more manageable. You've got a few scars left over. Maybe you don't have scars and your skin's just looking a little bit dull. This is a really good moisturizer just to give your skin a bit of a pick me up. But yeah, it's just lovely to use as well. Next up we have one that I didn't really talk about and it's less about um, the actual brand and more about the type of product. This is the Nake Up Face 10% Glycolic Acid AHA Scaling Cream. Sounds intense, right? It is a little bit. So I have to say straight off that this moisturizer is not for everyone. 10% is a very generous amount of glycolic acid to have in a product. Usually you'll find like 5% is like standard, really. But the idea of the cream is more what I'm getting at here is having the um, chemical exfoliator within the moisturizer. It's nice to have those results overnight so you wake up with nice glowing skin. Um, out of all the ones I've used, I used a COSRX one before um, I've used can't remember the brand, but the Nake Up Face is probably um, the more gentle feeling um, and the nicer one to use. It's very, very light. Doesn't have an overpowering smell of um, acid. <laughs> that sounds really bad. Doesn't have an overpowering smell of like um, chemical exfoliator. So it's a nice one to use in the evening. But if like me, you could use a BHA or AHA daily without any kind of irritation. This may be the moisturizer for you to even out your skin tone, remove dark spots, help with like flaky, uneven, dull skin. Again, this contains niacinamide to help brighten, but also contains centella extract 
and argan oil, all really beneficial for the skin. So it has got those more moisturizing properties in it. But yeah, if you have very sensitive skin, maybe not for you. Next up is Jamiso, I believe it's called, and that's Have a Good Cream Snail and Centella. A brand I never heard of and have to be completely honest, wasn't even on my radar. I just randomly picked it because I saw a few people post about it. I actually thought the packaging looked a little bit cheap, <laughs> but this moisturizer is great for all skin types um, for a number of reasons. So first of all, it's very light and it sinks into the skin, not quickly, but it doesn't take a long time, but effortlessly. So even as someone with oily skin where I don't like overpowering heavy moisturizers, you put this on, it has an instantly cool feeling and sinks into the skin. If you have dry skin, you can layer this up, you know, one layer, rub that in, put another layer on. It's like, a, it's weird. It's like a very thick gel moisturizer. If that makes sense. It's not a gel moisturizer. Well, I don't know. It's <laughs> the consistency is like a thick cloudy gel moisturizer. It's very, very good, but a lot more nourishing feeling than a gel moisturizer. That whole, sorry, that whole 30 seconds was a mess. <laughs> but the real benefits are the ingredients, of course. Snail, mucin, and centella. Very weird. I don't think I've ever seen that together. Centella is, of course, amazing for removing kind of uh, pigmentation, uneven skin tone, um, as well as uh, moisturizing properties. Snail, mucin, again, is another really great ingredient. Um, very, very good for its, again, moisturizing properties. Premature aging and products with stale mucin in are usually promoted as like um, products to help reduce pore size. An amazing ingredient, one that the Western world hasn't quite caught on to yet, but they're kind of getting there. But yeah, on your skin, it's just so smooth and your skin looks so healthy after. Um, and it just feels nice and cool. So I'm actually looking forward to using this in summer. I'm going to save it um, until then. And finally, we have Etude House and we had their Seeker Balm. You've seen me use this product a fair bit, like a fair, fair bit. And I think I've mentioned it a lot within my last three or four videos, but my skin was very, very dehydrated. Um, and Seeker Balm in general, I have three, I don't know why, I just want to try them all, um, really, really did help with this. Obviously, Seeker is Centella Asiatica, um, known for its hydrating properties, its repairing properties. So this Etude House Seeker Balm in particular um, has really, really helped um, soothe my skin. It rehydrates hydrated my dehydrated skin. It soothed red and itchy skin and soothed rough feeling skin as well. The pH of the Seeker Balm is slightly acidic and it also contains panthenol, which helps um, it helps to heal damaged and irritated skin. And you'll find this is the same throughout most Seeker products, but my favorite of all of them had to be the Etude House one. They just hit the nail on the head with this one. An honorable mention also has to go to the Innisfree Green Tea Overnight Mask, I believe it was. Their sleeping pack, I love this. I love this so much. Um, green tea, very, very soothing. But there was something about this in particular that um, really helped when my skin was irritated, um, bothered. When I was breaking out, I would always opt for this as my nighttime moisturizer. And another honorable mention is the Centella um, Cream by COSRX. The Centella Blemish Cream, I believe it's called. Very, very good. The only issue is it does leave a bit of a white cast, but it's perfect for a night um, moisturizer. Again, Centella helping improve the tone and texture of your skin. So yes, love those. Definitely check them out. Um, all products, of course, will be in the description box down below. I am going to try and not buy any more any new skincare this year. That was a, a New Year's resolution, but I already <laughs> I already bought some and received it. From now on, I'm going to try and not buy too much. But if there's any products you think I should test out, leave it in the description box down below. Uh, but yeah, that is it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.